Hey, welcome back to Indiana Farm Boy. Today, we're gonna find out what happened to the trailer. I went to load the mini excavator. The trailer started tilting uh, to the right side a bunch. And uh, so I got down and looked and ended up breaking the suspension uh, equalizer bar. So we started tearing it down, uh, I think it was about two days ago, and ordering parts. So some of the new parts have arrived. Uh, some should be here tomorrow. Uh, we have to come up with a game plan on exactly what's going to happen. So we took the tires off when we got the trailer home. And, uh, but we got it apart. There's a, basically an equalizer bar that goes across here, connects to that leaf spring to that leaf spring. And what happened was that leaf spring right here on the right, it went through the equalizer bar. And there's, there's a reason for that. Um, but I'll show you here in just a second. But basically we're gonna take actually all these axles off this bushing that's in these. This one right here was disintegrated and bad. Uh, this one over here, um, it needs, probably is bad when we take it apart, so we're going to take that apart and put a new one in that. Uh, and, and let me show you some other problems that we've discovered on the trailer. And before I do that, let me show you one thing real quick is, since this was so messed up, if you look right up here, you can see where the tires were hitting the boards. And I didn't realize it, but it chewed up one of these brand new tires uh, right here. And that right there, that tire right there is about $250, I think it was, a piece. So they're not cheap tires. I put the heavy ply on it because I was having so many issues with the cheap tires. And going across all the fields and stubble, it's hard on tires. So basically, here is the equalizer bar. It, it runs between this. This basically went through that bushing that we were just discussing. So um, that's what that does. And this is the main bushing in the equalizer, which doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look great. But here is where it ripped it out. So you can see that leaf spring just ended up pushing right through that equalizer. And what has happened is right here, there's a bar that's supposed to go right across there. And that is... Um, supposed to stop that leaf spring from getting to the top. Well, what's happened is that sheared off and has allowed it to start breaking this slowly. And then it finally, when the mini went on it, it must have broke all the way. Um, you can see they go through there and weld that. So if you look here at the new one, we just got these in. These are Dexter axles, 9,000 pound Dexter axles on this trailer. So we've got new ones. But if you want to look at this one, maybe. You can see right here, the bar goes all the way across and it keeps it from getting up there in that steel. That must have broke off. And so that, that was gone. But yeah, this is the same, same equalizer bar, just actually has this bar, which is what let that leaf spring um, blow apart. And so yeah, we got a kit here with two equalizers. We're gonna do both sides because they're both broken. And you can see how this goes together. Basically this bar goes between these two suspension pieces and allows that axle to travel a distance to help basically equalize the trailer when you're going across ground that you're not supposed to be on. Hopefully you guys can see it, but right in there, you see that bar's not on this one either. It's been up there, top of that metal, sitting there wearing it for new, who knows how long. Now this trailer is, uh, was built in uh, the year I was born. So it's 25 years old see the i mean this trailer it's built tough it's got an inch bolt i think that is it goes through that equalizer so i mean it's built to have the weight all right guys welcome back we are gonna try to start putting this trailer back together dad's out here we went and picked up us a new plasma cutter uh we haven't had one and we thought this was a good enough project to get one we are gonna start working on this back uh, rod that goes through here keep that uh, suspension travel from hitting the frame that's broke off uh, so we're we're working on that 
getting started here. Got it, yeah. Cleaned up a little. Probably just take a slag hammer to it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we're not by any means fabricators, but we're figuring it out. First time using a plasma cutter. That's not bad. That's we a lot better. A little off on our angle there, but this better. a lot better than that first time. Yeah. So we'll grind on it because it's got to be smooth enough to get it through that hole when we cut that. So yeah, we might be able to take a slag hammer and hit that right there and knock that off. So what the plan is, we're trying to figure out exactly where we want to put this angle. What happens, it's got to go across there. Yeah, this, uh, those the across spring, spring bottoms out on that. And what that has done is inside there, it sheared off. I think I showed you the other day. You can see where it's wore the spring video. actually. Yeah, and so we want to, we're going to replace it with a piece of angle and we're just trying to decide exactly the placement and how we want to do it. We're trying to kind of get the bottom of it basically where the last one was and maybe a little lower but not too much because we can't go too much otherwise that bolt you hole that won't go in Those, clamps clamp. no i didn't bring the clamp down because i thought you were going to use that little piece it's right there above you right there above your head yeah i can't tell if that's left flat though straight yeah i'm going right off the base so it is which is actually the perfect spot because that's about a half inch off that. You might tighten your clamp up a little where bit. Where that uh, spacer on the torch head is, is a half inch. Okay. See what, you know what mm -hmm. I'm you saying? You want me to give car? you more power? You're going to need more power to blow through that. That big thick weld probably. Yeah, I might, might turn it up to 35. Get it in. I learned something the other day about those that you can tighten those once you got them on. I saw that. Clamp. Did you see that? I don't know if that would work. Did you see what the. I you, mean, I've tightened them before with it on. I've used channel locks, but I never used uh, whatever it was, 7 16 inch wrench or whatever that guy had. Yeah. Oh, my finger's keeping me. You gotta get it primed so that air compressor starts running or what? I don't know how you did it earlier. Pull the trigger once. I've never plunged it. I don't know if it'll let me plunge. I keep coming off because of that weld. Yeah, it's not gonna let me plunge, is it?
Maybe I need to get it hotter for you or a better ground. <laughs> now there's a tip for plunging. Oh, they give you? No, I don't have it. It's through. It's through right there now. Is it? Okay. Yeah. About to grind that down. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna grab a grinding wheel. You have to take all that shit off there, though. I don't think I can. I think I can get it. Just cut it with the cutting wheel. That's what I was gonna do. I'm just gonna try to cut it down. If I can. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to grind this side and the other side and those others too. Okay, this is the aftermath of uh, the cutting, the welding, and the cussing from yesterday. But uh, it was a long battle. But we ended up getting that cut and then the angle iron crossed you can see and then welded in it's not the most pretty weld it's not my best work but that will work and that'll hold that spring and then we're going to swap out that equalizer and the bushing on the other end but before we could do that we have to finish the other side or the axle will completely fall down. So yesterday, we got Brendan here working. Yesterday, we got uh, a brand new equalizer in and Brendan is working right now on getting the remains of that bushing out. We're gonna put a brand new bushing in there. And then, we'll be able to cut that out and put a piece of uh, angle iron in there to repair because you can see how that is completely missing that piece broke out completely so just like it did on the other side so we're going to cut that out put a piece of angle in there to hold that so yeah we got our work cut out for us today uh, it just about whipped us yesterday, but uh, we will we will win this battle. Give everybody a shot of the critical team members that we have here supporting us every day. This is Moose, and this is Bandit. This is the A team. We couldn't do it without them. Trying to push this bushing in, it's using a yeah. C clamp. That bushing doesn't want to go, but it's going now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that is not gonna work. <laughs> put that. Put... Yeah. 
Uh, you're probably gonna need a spacer the size of that leaf spring. I just need a flat one first. I need a socket that fits that though. I don't know what size. 15, 16 is maybe. That'll work for now. Actually, that's going to work the whole time. Well, somebody mentioned this. Uh, you probably don't... You... I need something on this front, though. Here's... That's not going to work. There's nothing in there for the front. We just need, like, a nut or something. That's widening. Why won't this fit? It's not how that's not what it's built for. Well, we can try it. No. It's built for, though. I'd finished up with the exception of uh, cutting and welding on the the uh, stop on the back bracket, but we finally got this bushing pushed in. Um, we used a ball joint press to get that done, and we got the new bolt, uh, grade 8 bolt in there. So now we're going to come over here and start on this other side. We're going to go ahead and get the... Hey, Moose. We're going to go ahead and get this equalizer off get it replaced replace that front bushing and then finish this side up uh, and then we're we're on our way we're almost uh, we're almost done here Be good. Let's get some smoke on it. There we go. Nice. One down. Okay. I'm gonna try an alternate method. That bushing's on fire. Yep. Uh, looks like I gotta take a little more off there. That's. Can I chisel it? Or... Might be able to chisel it. I don't know. That's fine if you can't. 
No, nah, it's it's part of the bolt head. It's, the problem is it's so tight. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not saving that stupid equalizer bar. No, but you're saving this middle piece. We're trying not to cut it. Middle piece? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the actual bracket we're yeah. saving. We have a new one, though, but it'd be a bitch to have to change it. Yeah, I'll that. I'll tell you that I want to. Dang it. Should run it now. I'm gonna run out the side and punch out. Yeah, got carried away with that. Got dug into that bracket a little more than I wanted to. Dang it. Should be able to grind it now and be able to grind off that other side and just punch it out. Be hotter than hell. Yes, sir, it will be. Careful touching that your hand to that floor. It is fucking all I need thing. my safety glasses. Take these, would you please? Thought I had those on, but I guess I didn't. See if I can punch this out. It's gonna be close. I kind of got that, I kind of cut on that bracket a little bit too much, kind of melted that section together there. Yeah. Well, pipe work is to actually put the impact on it and spin it. Oh yeah. And then I'll know if this is free and it might actually work its way out. Yeah, but I need the socket. I thought you had it. Oh wait, I do, but the smaller one. I need the bigger one. It should be there. No, it's over there behind that next to that propane. No, next to the propane thing. Torch. Oh. Thank you. Mm. I don't want to double, triple check that that's the right socket. Yep. There should be a battery charged on the charger that you can use. We don't have to keep switching batteries. Plus, I think there's one in your truck. I think there's two or three in your truck, actually. You need to get your hearing protection in. You ready? I get a jack and jack this up a little bit and I should be able to knock it right out. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Yep, 
Well, we're just bringing this other one down. Hang on. I don't know. Got it, but now I got the drift pin stuck. Got it. Okay, now you got to grind off your uh, do the, other bolt. the other bolt and I'll dock it out. Yesterday, we got this side completely done. We got uh, that back uh, uh, angle iron welded in. We actually did that the day before, but we got this yesterday, all the new bushings in. All of the bolts through this whole suspension side's done. Last night we started on the other side welding the back angle. Everything else is done besides the back angle on the, this side. And we ran out of welding wire, so couldn't uh, <clears throat> weld anymore. So we got that bushing in, this equalizer together, that bushing in for the front. So he started welding this back together that angle in there and then we have to clean everything up and start putting tires back on and we should have a trailer so hopefully you guys will see a trailer in a little bit all right guys we got them all welded we got that angle in there we got dad tacked every single one of the bolts the reason why we tacked them was that's how they were from the factory we just figured we'd go continue on with what they had we got everything or some of the stuff cleaned up limiting how much stuff we got in our way we're going to start putting tires on it and hopefully we'll get her hooked up to the truck here shortly so i got a snapshot of us fighting to put these tires on all right guys as you can see we got tires on this side he's got tires on the other side he's airing we're getting 110 pounds to 100 pounds put in these they hold 110. I like to keep them between 100 and 110 PSI in them. Uh, we got the cat eyes put back on. Everything's together. Just got to take it off the jack stands and hook up my truck to it. And we should be good to go to go move some equipment since we've been out of moving equipment for almost two weeks now. So it'll be a good feeling to finally be up and going. All right, guys. Well, we got it put back together hooked up We're good to go see right there that equalizer bar right there that's what we replaced the equalizer bar goes between those axles and uh, got that replaced and everything looks all right so i think we're going to take her for our maiden voyage yeah that don't mind the hole in the deck this whole thing needs reboard the plan is it's eventually i think the summer maybe next uh, this winter but to take and strip all of the boards off this trailer have it pa uh, uh, sandblasted to have the welding shop go through it have it repainted put all new boards on it that's what it needs uh so maintenance stuff so 